Oh my trader. god. Hold I've the line. I've been here for as long as these guys have. And, my chat and is then doing... getting your shit clapped by a drywall carpenter named Jackie LaFucking Tits. Man, <laughs> that has got to sting. Holy that crap. has got to high the day. Because when this makes a new high of the day, I'm going to blow your fucking speakers out and I'm going to blow your fucking eardrums out. Strap in, folks. That's a new high of the Let's... day. Let's go. Come on, Chad. Let's go. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Come on. This is it, man. This is like quit my job. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I just can't look at my freaking account right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy crap. If he's going live, this thing is going crazy, man. Breaking news that I had to get out right here, right now, as soon as possible. It was just announced right. that Roaring Kitty will be doing a live stream. In 22 hours, oh, June God. 7th at 12 o'clock p.m. That's this it. is absolutely exciting, guys. And this is going to be a monumental That's it. moment we're, we're in, in the stock market. If this All right. I think um, time for a little vlog. Um, currently, uh, just a little update on my uh, life and my project here in New Mexico. Don't, don't mind the uh, the chat. GME is going to the moon again, and I thought this would be a perfect time to vlog about it. So, I'm currently building this house in New Mexico, and I, I came here last year, and it's been taking about a year to build the house. But I have this property in the middle of the desert, and you know I'm just kind of working on that for right now. I guess you could say. Uh, it's been about 10 months. I finally got a plumber to put the plumbing in the foundation. We're actually going to pour it pretty soon. And in the meantime, I'm just working my job. Um, currently, I'm, I'm a broker for one of these, um, you know, one of these banks for these institutions. I took my Series 7 two years ago, and I have this work from home job. And what I really like about the work from home job is I pretty much can stay on my computer all day and um, you know, watch crazy uh, shit happen all the time. So, <laughs> but, uh, Basically what I do on a daily basis, anywhere from 40 to 100 hours a week, whatever my company has me doing is placing stock trades from people. So uh, currently my job is pretty much that. Of course, I'm getting paid just a, you know, a regular salary for it. Uh, this month has been a very special month because we've been, you know, I've been online with chat and I follow everything and well, Keith Gill is going live tomorrow for uh, GME. And I don't know what the heck he's doing, this guy, but it's going to be something as a side for that. That's kind of just been my work for this for this year. And hopefully by this summer, you know, maybe I have a house to move in. I'm going to be going out there in about a month to actually literally stack the bricks. The bricks of the house are adobe bricks. This house is going to be made out of adobe. If you ever built with adobe before, it's these big 40 pound bricks. 14 inches by 10 inches thick and you pretty much stack them and I'll have this on a nice good foundation and then once I start finish that and want to get my house built there's two things I really want to do that I really need to complete in my life one is start a food forest uh, kind of like a permaculture thing the other is really I guess start, get back into training now here's the thing with my training and running I just been running easy for fun I'll go run six miles I'll go run 10 miles I'll run five days a week four days a week because it's something that you really need to do and holy crap um and, and that's really I'm kind of just hanging out you know ch being chill kind of taking care of my uh, my uh, plants here because one of the things I'm, I know a lot of people got to realize these days is you just you gotta you gotta chill this just in gamestop gme here we go hold the line been putting in this month and not 30. had a, we had a run last month in may today is june 6 2024 gme goes to 100 man oh my god 
I can't believe it. Holy cow. On Tommy Keith Gill is going live. Holy cow. Building your online business. Oh, come on. That's one of the, uh... Oh my God. Um, and that's just one of the things about life is you gotta take it one step at a time. Now, also going back to the running thing is I did injure my foot in 2019 and I actually broke my foot and the cartilage between the socket of, you know, where your uh, tibia connects with your foot, it, uh, I broke the cartilage and that's something that takes a very long time to heal. If it heals at all, so it's been very limiting and I felt like I just really couldn't do what I really wanted to do. I'm, I'm 30 now. I'm actually uh, turning 31, so uh, if I really wanted to do this running thing, I got nine years, I guess, to do it and get things straightened out, but uh, it's just been a lot on my plate. In 2020, I moved, I moved to Japan. I got stuck there because of the pandemic. And during the pandemic, I stayed there for two years, not knowing what the heck, like I'm walking around every day and I'm like, how the heck did I get here? Because I decided to meet some girl online at the wrong possible time. I got stuck in a foreign country for two years. And, and that was just it. And then I decided after about two years, I got kind of bored. I was working in a high school teaching English and music. I decided, you know, I wanted a, I wanted something more fun. So I, I decided to get this job uh, in the stock market. I went back to New York. I hit up a Wall Street broker as a cold calling job. It was kind of like an unpaid intern kind of thing, but uh, they were able to sponsor for my series seven exam. And I ended up, leaving them after like six or seven months and then moved to like a real bank, you know. And once once I got this job, I came out here to New Mexico and I started my dream in building this house. Currently, right now, it's just been a long time doing it and uh, there's been ups and downs. And that that's, that's really it. Once It's just like my vision right now. Once I build this house and I gotta turn this guy down, hold on. As we speak, GMA just hit $48 a share. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, dude, once I'm, once I'm done with all this, man. It, it's, been, it's been a heck of a ride. <laughs> I'll say. Another, I have to add to this story a little bit more, but about a year ago, so I had this running streak, another story. I had this running streak for about 12 years, and I said to myself, you know, I'll never stop running. Even though I really, I, I kind of like stopped training and doing it for real, I went, I was like, okay, I'm going to keep this streak as long as I could go. Uh, and I, I ran one mile a day. Since 2012, it was a New Year's resolution. I ran one mile a day, every day, and... If all my off day, I ran a mile. If I was in the airport, I, I ran a mile. If I was traveling somewhere, I still had to run a mile. I mean, I, I got up in the middle of the night, you know, after flying to some foreign country and realized, shoot, shoot I got to run that mile before the time zone changes. And I ran that mile. And then about a year ago, all of a sudden, uh, that streak came to an end because I actually had to go to the hospital for appendicitis. It seemed kind of minor, but they wouldn't let me go. And if you ever got appendicitis, it, it's like this inflammation in your appendix. I think it was because I ate a half a gallon of almonds that might have caused it. And it kind of maybe um, clogged you up a bit. I don't know. It probably shouldn't do that. But I did. And then so I went in, you know, because my stomach hurt. And I was like, yeah, you have appendicitis. And it already partially ruptured and all kinds of crazy stuff. And... But, you know, it was fine the next day. I had to take some, they gave me some antibiotics. They didn't remove it or anything. They just gave me antibiotics. And then about another day, they said, you're good to go. Well, in that day's time, you know, coming to 11.59 p.m., I'm looking at the clock and I was like, well, it's all over now. That was the end of my streak. And that's where it ended. But 
I still run, you know, just about every day, but I don't have to go out and, you know, every day I don't have to be like, all right, I have to go run a mile. No, I don't, I don't have to do that anymore. So if I'm traveling somewhere, cause I travel internationally all the time and, you know, at the worst port and you have to go run that mile, you know, I don't have to do it. I, I didn't have to do it this time. And it, and it, I guess it feels good knowing that, you know, I could go climb Mount Everest and not have to say, uh, I have to go run my mile now and I'm at 20,000 feet now because I don't think I'd ever be able to climb Mount Everest if I had this streak going. I guess this, you know, is a plus and minus of a lot of things. And I, I ran that mile when I had COVID and I had like 104 fever and it was like eight day fever. And every night I went out and hobbled like a 12 mile mile. It was the worst experience through everything, through broken foot, through uh, feet. Uh, I've sprained an ankle, I had a run, I had a virus, I had a run. You name it, every day. Because I felt like if I didn't run every day, you know, I wasn't maybe improving on something in myself every day. And it is true, I do feel that. Um, no, coming in now, I'm not doing that anymore, but there is always something that I find that I would uh, work towards doing some other kind of streak or doing something to improve something every day. And of course, that is uh, just writing my Japanese, keeping this, uh, keeping my Japanese fluent because if I want to get a, like a real job, like a banking job or a global finance job in Japan someday. Uh, that's a job that requires you to actually speak business level Japanese. So I'm, you know, I'm getting there. But it's, it's always a work in progress. You know, you always start at the bottom, you move up a little higher, and you don't realize how bad you suck because you're at the bottom until you get a little higher, then you look back and you're like, man, I really sucked. But it's okay, I got better. Because at the end of the day, we all suck. You can only improve on that, right? Whatever you do, whatever you do in your training, your running, your sport, your hobby, your job, you, you're just going to suck at it. But every day you're going to suck a little less. And that's what I bring you here on the El Cadiole Loco show in a while. Learn to suck a little less, improve on the things. And I'm, I'm working on my hobbies right now. And if this stock goes to the moon tomorrow, we're taking a vacation and I'm going to Italy. Because I haven't seen my family in a... Uh, I think about seven or eight years now since 2017 about seven years uh, so let's see if that happens and then i'm using that to, i'm finishing the house and we're gonna have goats we're gonna have chickens we're gonna have banana trees and fig trees and you name it and it's just gonna be the great it's just gonna be the best thing i'm excited for this year and i hope you are too so never stop running always inspiring always learn to suck a little less every day el coyote loco peace out shorted this stock for the last three years will begin the process of liquidation. And if they liquidate at 86 chat, that's what happens. And sword squeeze. Not a sneeze. And short squeeze and I don't have to do this again but I'm gonna fucking do it anyways this is a full flag a three year long full flag we are breaking out and if you break 86 we go Amen.